Jesse, man. How are you How doing? You, I'm doing great, man. How's this tour been going for you guys? This is our oh, nice, beautiful touring van. Exactly. It's nice and cool in here. It doesn't smell too bad, does it? No, it's not bad at all. <laughs> <man>. <laughs> well, well, the tour's been going amazing. I mean, we started out uh, May 9th with um, Arch Enemy. Yeah. Star Trek, Quality, Us, and Firewind. And then uh, Arch Enemy, you know, dropped off the tour. They went to England or Europe for some festivals. And then we're here continuing on with Star Trek, Quality, and Firewind. We're going all the way up to the um, 20th of June. Yeah. And then, uh, then after that, we go straight over to Mexico, Argentina, Chile, nice. Colombia, Brazil, and we're gonna do a tour out there. So it's gonna be great. Hell yeah! Now since Bleed the Fifth has been out, y'all mm -hmm. been promoting tour on tour all the damn time, man. The fan base is growing and growing. What do you think of the early success that this band has had? Um, I think it's really cool. You know, I mean, we were out there working really hard. You know, basically putting it in people's faces, and uh, we're getting a really good response. You know. Crowd, kids are starting to come out, crowds are starting to get into it, and every time we go on a tour with a big band, we seem to gain a few more, so Hell yeah. it's working out good. You got a new band, new people all around you, man. Looking back, what was one of the best moments of you for recording that album? Um, one of the best moments is just the fact of, you know, being able to be creative in the studio and, you know, creating it from the ground up. And, uh, you know, working with Logan Mater, yeah. who used to be a machine head, and working with this guy named Lucas Banker for vocals and stuff uh, uh, was just amazing. It's an amazing production team, and, you know, we put it together really fast. Oh, yeah. Now, your live shows, you play pretty much every song on the album. Which one is one of your personal favorites to play live? I don't know, man. I, li I like them all, but probably, you know, Save Yourself or This Thread Is Real. I like some really powerful songs. <laughs> Lineup change. Tommy's no longer in the band. Jake, uh -huh. Jake is in. Is Jake gonna be the permanent lead singer, or is this just temporary? Just temporary. He's only filling in for right now. We haven't made a decision yet, and uh, I believe we're gonna when we go back to the states, when we get time, when we go back to home, actually, we're gonna uh, try out a few guys. Hell yeah! <laughs> we want, to, want to give some people a shot, see how they do. Um, but Jake's doing a great job, an amazing job. You know, he's obviously the runner-up. You know, so we'll see what happens. Another cool thing about your band is you're so in tune with your fans. You always tell them, come to the merch table, hang out with us, drink yeah. a beer, do whatever. Yeah, and we do that every night. Yeah, I mean, is that <laughs> is that one of the staples you wanted as this band? Because, I mean, previous, like Fear Factory, it might have been harder just to walk around and stuff. Yeah, it was it, it was hard to walk around, but, you know, we were also very, you know, we were, we were at a level where we were so big that we were kind of secluded from the fans, you know. And I missed that. I missed all that. And so with this band, I wanted to basically do a direct connection with the fans, you know, all of us, you know, take turns selling the merch and we're at the merch table, we're talking to them every night, you know, they tell us good things, they tell us bad things, yeah. you know, <laughs> like you guys suck tonight or you guys are great tonight, you know, and it's really cool to get that kind of feedback from the fans, you know, and, uh, you know, people haven't met me, ever met me, but have been fans of me for a long time and it's really cool just to, you know, meet up with them. about you that not many people know that may surprise me <laughs> that I'm a nice guy <laughs> um, despite what you might have read about me in the press or, or seen about me in the press um, uh, I'm just a very very professional individual I, I just um, and I'm a fair guy that's about it I mean I think uh, you know some people may perceive me as a as this really really big control freak kind of dude but 
as long as everybody does their job, it's all good. Oh, yes. Any last words to the fans out there watching this? Uh, pick up our record, Bleed the Fifth. We will be doing a new record uh, later this year, yes. which will be out early next year. And, of course, we'll be on the road forever. And uh, if you get a chance, pick up the eight-string Ibanez. Uh, yeah. yeah, it's called the RG2228. Pick that up and also pick up some Seymour Duncan Blackout pickups. Hell yeah. Well, Dino, man, thank you very much. Thank you. It's Divine Heresy. Check them out on their MySpace page. Pick up the CD, like you said. See them on tour. Spread the word about them. This is Metal Mark. Keep those horns high.